Hey everybody, this is Carl from Toy Wiz, and today we're taking a look at the new comics that are coming out the week of Wednesday, July 29th. First up from Marvel, we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 45, part of Nick Spencer's highly anticipated Sins Rising storyline. From Archie Comics, we've got Archie and Katie Keene, number four of the storyline, issue number 713 overall for Archie. From Image Comics, we've got Ascender number 11 from Jeff Lemire and Dustin Union. From DC, Batman and Superman, number 10. From Image, we've got the return of Black Magic from Greg Rucka and Nicola Scott. I love Ms. Scott's artwork. She is amazing. From Titan Comics, we've got Blade Runner 2019, number 8. From Dynamite, we've got The Boys, Dear Becky, number 3. From original creators, Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. From Marvel, we've got Cable, number two. Still with Marvel, we've got Captain Marvel, number 18, a very hotly anticipated title this week, with some uh, pretty important stuff going on for Carol Danvers there. From Aftershock Comics, we've got Dark Ark After the Flood, number five, by Cullen Bunn and Jesus Herbas. From DC, we've got their, you know, Every once in a while, they'll put out kind of a special holiday or seasonal related book, and this is theirs for the summer. This is DC's Cybernetic Summer, an 80-page anthology with a bunch of different works from a bunch of different creators. From Valiant Comics, we've got Doctor Tomorrow, number four. From Marvel, we've got their big event, Empire, continuing to its third week with its third issue. Tying in with Empire, we've got Empire Captain America, number one and Empire Savage Avengers number one. Captain America is a miniseries, Savage Avengers, this number one is just a one-shot. From Boom, we've got Firefly number 18. From Xenoscope, we've got Grim Fairy Tales number 39. From Marvel, we've got Iron Man 2020 number five. Just one issue left remaining in this storyline. From Dynamite Comics, we've got James Bond, number six. Personally, my favorite Bond theme, You Know My Name by uh, Chris Cornell from Casino Royale with uh, Daniel Craig. I know it's a more recent one. It's, I think it really just kind of gets the perfect blend between uh, a good hard rock song and a good Bond song. From DC's Black Label, we've got John Constantine Hellblazer, number eight. We've got Legion of Superheroes, number seven, from DC's Mainline. From IDW, who's putting out Marvel's All Ages books, we've got Marvel Action Spider-Man, number three. From Image Comics, we've got Mirka Andolfo's Mercy, number four. It's been a very good book, very well written, and beautifully illustrated. From Boom Studios, we've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 52. From Image, we've got Nailbiter Returns, number three. From IDW, we have the unfortunately named, considering the times we're in right now, Pandemica, number five. From DC's Black Label, Joe Hill's Hill House sub-imprint, we've got The Plunge, number five. From Image, we've got the original graphic novel, Pulp, from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, in a gorgeous hardcover. From DC, we've got Red Hood Outlaw number 47. Back to Xenoscope, we've got Robin Hood Justice number one. From Image, we've got Spawn number 308. As the book continues to break records, and will continue to break records with every subsequent issue that comes out, as it just keeps deriving that record number higher. From Marvel, we've got Spider-Man Noir number two. And Star Wars Darth Vader number three. We also have, finally have the trade paperback collection, oops, as I bumped the camera, of Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren. This was a very popular series when it was coming out monthly, uh, primarily because it really gave a lot more backstory uh, to Kylo, and everyone was really excited for it, and it was, the book just did a phenomenal job of filling in a lot of what people were missing from the movies. From DC, we've got Suicide Squad number seven. From IDW, we get a double dose of the Ninja Turtles with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 107 and the annual 2020. 
Now, this is also a very good time for me to point out, uh, to remind you, in case you've been following our various social media, or to inform you in the first place if you haven't been, there is a new book coming out starting in September, a mini-series called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin. It's notable because it's bringing back Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the original creators of the Turtles, uh, for a brand new story set in the future. Three of the boys are gone. We believe they're dead, that's what they're kind of hinting at. Who knows, maybe it'll be a twist and they won't be, but unfortunately only one remains, the titular Last Ronin, and he's going out there trying to seek revenge for his brothers. Uh, we don't know which of the ones is the last Ronin, we don't know who remains, but uh, it's been getting a lot of buzz, everybody's really excited, and here at Toy Wiz we're actually going to have two exclusive variant covers available that you can only get through us. So uh, take a look on our website, come by, take a look in the store, we've got some pictures up. Uh, they're both gorgeous, one of them is by artist Ben Harvey, the other by Sean Anderson. So uh, yeah, the book's scheduled to release on September 9th, so uh, definitely come in, put a pre-order down while you still can. Moving on for this week, however, from Dynamite, we've got Vampirella Red Sonia number 9. From DC, we've got Wonder Woman number 759. And then wrapping up with Marvel, we've got X-Factor number 1 and X-Men number 10, tying into Empire. And that is it. Those are the new releases for this week, the week of Wednesday, July 29th. Uh, Please come on down, say hi to us, pick up some books, remember to wear a mask, stay safe out there wherever you go, and we will see you soon, and hopefully we'll see you around in our next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.